In this video I will show you how to create a very simple 3D glass ashtray using Blender. With the default cube still selected, press 7 on your numbers pad followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view. Roll your middle mouse to zoom in a bit and then press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Deselect everything by pressing A and then look for the face select button to the bottom of the screen. This is a little cube with a highlighted square on it. Then left click on it. Right click on this top face and then press I.25 to inset the face. Left click to accept. Press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view followed by Z to go into wireframe view. And hold down shift followed by your middle mouse button just drag this view down a bit and then roll your middle mouse to zoom in until you can clearly see the little squares that make up the grid. With your pointer over the blue arrow press E on your keyboard and then drag this highlighted square down or extrude it down for the small squares. Then left click to accept. Roll your middle mouse to zoom out a bit. And then recenter using shift in your middle mouse button and move in your mouse. Press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode followed by Z to go into solid view. Then hold down your middle mouse button and just drag your mouse to rotate your view so you can see what's happening a bit clearer. Place your pointer over this edge to the right hand side and hold down left mouse button and drag this panel over until you can see all these buttons. Look for the modifier button, now this is a button with a little wrench in it and left click on it. Now left click add modifier and then left click on bevel. In the width section, left click and type in 0 0.02 and hit return on your keyboard. Left click on apply and this will accept this bevel around this um, what will become your ashtray. If you hold down control followed by 7 on your numbers pad, this will take you into bottom orthographic view. Then press tab again to go into edit mode. And then draw a box select around this bottom face. To do a box select, first press B on your keyboard, and then hold down your left mouse button and then drag your mouse to draw a box around it. It flickers sometimes, but you can see what's happening. And that should have just selected the bottom face of this uh, cube. That's you also would have selected the narrower faces where you've um, done your bevel. Press S on your keyboard followed by 2 to resize this face then left click to accept. Press 1 on your numbers pad to see that everything looks correct and then tab on your keyboard to go into object mode. We're going to keep this um, shape as is for now, there's a reason for this, I'll explain this a bit later, but for now we're going to add a cylinder. To do this hold down shift followed by A, then next to mesh left click on cylinder. Now the cylinder at present will be hidden behind this um, misshapen cube, you'll probably just be able to see this, the edge of it, but um, before doing anything else come to the left of the screen and where it says for vertices left click on the box that says 32 and type in 1000 and hit return on your keyboard now with your pointer over the blue arrow hold down your left mouse button and drag this cylinder up so that the little yellow dot is towards the top of your misshaped cube now rotate this cylinder on its Y axis by first pressing R followed by Y and then 90 for 90 degrees and left click to accept. 
resize this cylinder by first pressing S followed by point 1 and again left click to accept. Resize this cylinder on its X axis by first pressing S followed by X and then drag in your mouse so that the cylinder is reasonably long in length to the actual ashtray you're going to create then left click to accept. Go back to top view by pressing 7 on your numbers pad and then without moving your mouse, in fact take your hand off your mouse hold down shift followed by D and hit return on your keyboard then rotate this second you've just duplicated by the way shift D duplicate something rotate the duplicate on its Z axis for press first pressing R followed by Z and then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on its Z axis and again hit return on your keyboard with this second cylinder still highlighted hold down shift and right click on the first cylinder what you'll find is the second cylinder will be highlighted red and the second cylinder will be highlighted yellow join these two together by first holding down control followed by J and then press 1 on your numbers pad center up your view so that you can see clearly the um, red uh, red um, axis arrow and with your pointer over your blue arrow hold down your left mouse button and just re-center up your cylinders until the red arrow is in line with the top of this uh, cube that's soon to be an ashtray doesn't have to be 100% accurate that looks about right Roll your middle mouse to come out again, and then using your holding down your middle mouse button, just move your view around so you can see what's happening again. Now, right click on this ashtray or cube, and again with the modifiers button still selected, left click on add modifier. left click on boolean and where it says intersect left click and then left click on difference in the box below object left click then left click cylinder left click on apply and then with your pointer over the two cylinders right click to select them then press X and left click on delete to remove them and hopefully you'll have something that looks similar to this okay press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view I'm going to recenter this up a bit now just press Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe and um, right click on the actual um, ashtray or cube to highlight it. Now with this modifiers button still selected left click on add modifier and then left click on solidify. And as I said before I was keeping this um, cube the same um, sort of sizes. When you use the um, solidify modifier it does it equally around the center of the object so if I'd have made this um, ashtray the sort of the height um, that an ashtray normally would be what I would have found is that the edges on the left and right front and back in this view would have been quite thick however the top edges would be very thin and I wanted a more even looking um, um, solid sort of looking ashtray so anyway you'll see what I mean now then in the box it says thickness left click and type minus 0 0.05 and hit return and then left click on apply
Press Z on your keyboard to go back into solid view and roll your middle mouse so that you zoom out quite a lot. Hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click on cube. Again with your pointer over the blue arrow hold down your left mouse button and drag your blue arrow down so that your cube you can actually see your cube. Then resize this cube by pressing S on your keyboard and then moving your mouse so that the cube actually is larger than the bottom edge of this strange looking um, ashtray. <coughs> now press Z again on your keyboard. Again with your pointer over the blue arrow hold down your left mouse button and drag this cube up and then zoom in. What I'm going to try and do is, is judge this by eye. I want this to be this sort of top edge of this cube to be about one of these small squares on the grid. So I'm going to zoom out again, and it doesn't have to be too accurate. And line it up. That's not too bad sometimes you have to do things by eye in Blender that's fine OK go back into solid view by pressing Z on your keyboard and again if you want to rotate your view use your middle mouse and drag your view around and then right click on the ashtray again with your modifiers button still selected left click on add modifier and again left click on boolean left click on intersect left click on difference then in the object box left click and this time left click on the cube probably say cube point zero zero one and finally left click on apply now if we right click on the big cube and press X and left click on delete we'll end up with an ashtray that has reasonably even as reasonably even thickness of glass and looks something like this it won't be perfect but glass in blender it, it takes it really isn't that easy to do and um, if you've only got a sort of a simple basic computer you'll never get it 100% right so, um, apparently blender locks up and uh, I've even struggled with this one um, by dividing faces up so I've kept it as simple as possible and hopefully most people will be able to render this one and it'll look reasonably good. Anyway, once you've uh, created your ashtray, I don't know, press 1 on your numbers pad and right click on your ashtray. You'll find that the um, the XYZ um, centers are still in the same position as they would be um, when this was a full cube size. Um, you can put this in the middle if you want I don't see the point in bothering at this point so again with your pointer over the blue arrow hold down your left mouse button and just drag this ashtray down so it's just above the red axis line this red line that goes from left to right of the screen okay press 7 on your numbers pad and roll your middle mouse out a bit and then hold down shift followed by A left click on plane next to mesh left click on plane again you won't be able to see this until you resize it so press S followed by 20 to increase the size of the plane okay now everything should be ready to start rendering so first of all under the top of the screen where it says blender render left click and left click cycles render now we'll do everything in this instance in camera view so to go into camera view press 0 on your numbers pad and then roll your middle mouse to increase the view on your camera if you zoom in and out is a bit jerky you can actually smooth this out by holding down control followed by your middle mouse button and moving your mouse and this will give you a smooth sort of zoom in and out action 
Once you're happy with the size of your screen, press N on your keyboard and then look at this panel here or slide this slider up and down until you can see where it says lock camera to view and left click in the little box next to it. Then close this panel down by pressing N on your keyboard. Again, you should be able to zoom in by rolling your middle mouse or as I said before holding down control plus your middle mouse button and moving your mouse. If you hold down shift plus your middle mouse button this will reposition your view and if you just hold down your middle mouse button and move your mouse this will angle your view. So we'll angle this around so it's sort of looking like that position it in the middle a bit. You can go for whatever you want. I'm going to go for this sort of view. Okay. The only other thing is when you're working in uh, camera view sometimes it's easier to select your objects in this sort of top right hand panel. So if you just move your above these um, buttons if you left click on this edge here and just drag this down so that you can see the items you're working with. Now at present the plane is still highlighted. Um, as an example if you just left click on the cube the cube will be highlighted. In fact we'll leave this highlighted. With this cube highlighted look for the materials button. Now this is a button with a little orange disc in it and left click on it then left click on use nodes this is in the surface um, box if it's closed just left click on this little black arrow as I said left click on use nodes now left click where it says diffuse BSDF and then look for um, glass BSDF you may have to push your pointer all the way up to get this to scan down it will be the one at the top so left click on glass BSDF Okay. Now maybe it's a good time to have a look at this uh, ashtray to see if it's all worked correctly. Um, you can go into rendered view at the bottom here but I always use shortcuts so hold down shift followed by Z and that will give you a rendered view. And this is the rendered view of what your ashtray will look like. It's not looking too bad. It isn't perfect, as I said before. Glass can take a lot of uh, processor power and RAM, and to get this looking 100% perfect, well, I don't know. I think my computer might even crash doing that. Anyway, it's looking reasonably good so far. So, hold down Z, and Z again, or hit Z twice to go into. Um, solid view. Um, now, I've got to think about this. Oh yeah, right. To get the kind of image that I've, I want to produce, I'm not going to muck around with the lamp. If you look for the um, world button, this is a button with a little world in it, just left click on this and then again in the surface section left click on use nodes then left click in the sort of dark grey box next to colour and then to the right of this colour palette with your pointer over the little white dot hold down your left mouse button and drag this all the way up to white and in fact what we'll do is I think we'll from now on we'll work in rendered mode so hold down shift followed by Z to go into rendered mode It'll take a bit of time to sort itself out, but right now that's not looking too bad. Okay. Now, if you want the background to look sort of the way I I had mine looking, if you left click on where it says plane, and then with this, with your arrow over this edge here, just above the timeline, drag your view up. and then to the bottom left of the screen look for the little clock and left click on it and then left click node editor left click where it says new 
And then it, in this panel you can zoom in by rolling your middle mouse and you should have a box that says diffuse BSDF and material output. Bring this slider over a bit so you've got some space to the left of the um, panel and then look for the button at the bottom that says add and then next to texture left click on checker texture and drag it over to the left of this diffused BSDF node. Next to colour you'll see a little yellow dot. With your pointer over it, hold your left mouse button down then move your mouse and you'll see a little wire comes out and drag it into the ye little yellow dot next to the colour panel on the diffuse node then release your mouse. In the checker texture where it says scale you can left click and move your mouse backwards and forwards or you can just left click and put in something like 50 which is what I'm going to do and that will give you 50 checker boxes though obviously you won't see that many on this view I'm going to leave the white as is but if you left click on the grey colour 2 panel it will bring up your palette and then if you with your pointer over the little dot in the middle of the colour palette hold down your left mouse button just move your pointer around to a colour that you want to use I'm going to go for a sort of one off red colour I think and just decide if that's the colour you want to use you can go back in change it around I'm going to stick with this colour OK now this this is going to look very grainy it always does in the because uh, you're only rendering about 10 samples in uh, this basic rendered view anyway come back to the right of this uh, panel and then look for your cube which is now your ashtray and left click on it this will bring up your glass uh, node incidentally you can do this over here as well if you go into the materials button but I've got into the habit of using nodes now so I'll stick with this uh, way of doing it ok and again with your pointer in the uh, white box next to the colour left click and then drag this pointer around so you get a colour that you reasonably happy with Go green any colour you want and just have a look at it to see if you're happy with the colour I don't think that looks too bad the other thing you can do is again if you go back into this palette with this pointer here with this uh, slide here you can darken things down lighten them up ooh that don't look too bad in fact, I think that's basically it. Like I said before, this isn't perfect, but hopefully it'll give you some idea how to modify things and change them around and do a bit of a glass-looking effect. So that's basically it, I think. So let's just bring this down. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. In fact, I might just zoom in a little bit. that to look about like that Maybe a bit more of an angle it's up to you how you want to place your view I think that's looking it's a bad habit really just doing this um, in render because it makes it more difficult to I should have gone into solid view but in fact I'll do that now so I'm going to press Z, Z again in solid view now hopefully I can uh, level this up oh, that'll do you get the idea okay finally your image 
come to the right hand side and look for the little button with a camera in it this is your render button and left click on it slide this slider down don't worry about saving it at present and just your default the image is saved as a PNG oh, I probably will save this as a PNG but if you want to save it as a JPEG you can left click here and select one of these but as I said I'm going to leave it as a PNG now the other thing is left click on the little black arrow next to sampling and as I said before your rendered sample that you were looking at which is grainy was set at 10 so you need to crank that up quite a bit to get a good view on this so where it says render 10 left click and type in something like 500 and go to the slide this slider up and go to the top of the screen this is going to take a while to render so be aware of that um, but anyway to render the picture left click on the button that says render and wait for it to render there's a little bar at the top which you'll see gradually moving over to the right just so that you know things are working as I said before this will take a little bit of time to do so I'm just gonna save this and come back to it later right well hopefully your image is now finished rendering and you've got something that looks similar to this as I said before it's not perfect there are a few blemishes but that's the nature of glass anyway um, I could have made it looking a lot better but a uh, hell of a lot more work especially using glass and uh, there's no guarantee that your computer won't lock up um, you can do all sorts with this but anyway that's your basic glass ashtray hopefully all you need to do now is uh, save it so if you've never saved an image before in blender just come to the bottom of this screen and left click on image then left click save as image navigate to a folder you want to save your image in or as I do initially I always go to desktop which you can find to the left here and then left click here give it a title oh, I don't know ashtray whatever just gonna call it ashtray blue and then left click save as image you might have to left click twice and hopefully your ashtray should be saved on your desktop for viewing. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Cheers.